Hey, I'm Tristan. I'm the founder of Wheelworks. If we're building some new disc brake wheels for you, there are three things that we need to know. One of those things is what type of axle and axle size do you have? This video is going to help us figure that out. This video is for the large diameter through axles. It is not for the old quick release style. Let's get into it. The tools we're going to need are ideally a vernier caliper, but if you don't have one of those, then we're going to use a ruler, your existing through axle and some masking tape. The best way to do this is with a vernier caliper. So let's show that way first. Now I've got the wheel resting on its hub here. It's really important that the wheel is not resting on one side on its tire. It's supported entirely on the bench on the hub. I'm then going to take my vernier and use the little depth setting tool. And I'm just going to drop it down into the middle of the hub until it touches the bench. Carefully pull that out and you can very clearly see that this hub is 110 millimeters. So just like with the vernier method, it's super important that the wheel is sitting on its axle. It's, the tire is not touching the bench. The rim's not touching the bench. We're then going to take our through axle and we're just going to drop it through so that it's resting against the bench. Then I'm going to take my little bit of tape and very, very carefully right at the top there, I'm going to put my tape around the through axle and then pull that out. All right, so we've got a little tape mark that we've put on our through axle. I've very, very carefully lined up this end with the zero on the ruler. And then we're just going to read off where that tape lies on the ruler. And here you can see that it's 11 centimeters, which is 110 millimeters. So this hub is 110 millimeters wide. So we've just measured the width of the hub. Now we're going to figure out what diameter through axle we've got. This is really straightforward. I'm just going to take my through axle and my vernier caliper and measure. You can see there it says 14.84. That means that it's going to be a 15 millimeter through axle. The through axle is going to be slightly undersized so that it can fit through the hub. If it was 15.0 millimeters, it just wouldn't fit into the hub. We're then going to use the ruler to measure the diameter of the axle. You can see this through axle has got a, a thinner center section here to save a little bit of weight. I'm going to make sure that I don't measure that and that I measure the part that's widest, which is the one that's going to touch the hub. Very, very carefully, taking my ruler and I can see that this one is 15 millimeters. So there we go. That's how we measure the hub width and through axle diameter. Now, because we work in the bike industry, there's a million different standards to make sure that we can add some marketing to all of this. But the most common ones on a road disc brake bike are 100 by 12 on the front and 142 by 12 on the rear. On a mountain bike, there's two types that are more common. The old non-boost, which is 100 by 15 on the front and 142 by 12 on the rear. And the more modern boost type, which is 110 by 15 on the front and 148 by 12 on the rear. There are, like I said, a, a whole bunch of different variants here. So if your measurements aren't quite matching up to those, it's definitely worth checking out the table that we've got below. If you're enjoying this content, please subscribe to our channel. And we've got two other videos to help you figure out what wheels you're going to need for your bike. One is talking about the difference between center lock and six bolt disc brake rotors. And the other video is helping with all the different free hub body standards as well. So there you go. That's it. I'm Tristan. Thanks for watching.